remember a wonderful story of working with Brit. I had worked with her before. This is, this is about as scandalous as this interview is going to get. But Brit came in for a fitting and uh, said to me, uh, where do you want me to go? And I said, if you step behind your, the curtain here and take off your clothes, we'll bring in a seamstress and take the measurements for you. And usually when you say something like that, the actor or the actor steps behind the curtains and takes off their clothes. And they, women usually end up in a bra and a pair of panties and guys in their shorts. And I walked behind the curtain and opened it. And Britt was standing there and she was wearing uh, plastic spring later high heel shoes and four ivory bracelets and some white gloves. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, why the gloves? She said, I never take these off. <laughs> she was quite wonderful. Another question? I think one more question, and that's going to be about it. Yes. Um, Hi, mine's sort of a, a two-part question. Uh, uh, first of all, is uh, on all the projects that you were on, what was the one item you would say that attracted you to it, and why did you enjoy it? And uh, while you did QL, Quantum Leap, which costume did you enjoy doing more, the male costumes for uh, Scott or the women costumes, especially the uh, evening dress you wore and what price, Gloria? Uh. Are you asking, the first question is, what project out of my career that I enjoyed the best, or what no, episode of Galactic I enjoyed the best? No, what pieces from each project, project have you done that you can think right away that you like this project for this reason, this project for that reason? Um, is there an item from each project that attracted you to it? Um, I, I've well, done a do lot of things that, of, of sh shows that I really have n I don't have any great... Um, creative love for such as things like The Fall Guy and Manimal and all those other things I did for years, a sort of justice. But um, I love doing science fiction and I love more than anything else doing period. I, I, I'm, I think I'm proudest of, uh, of Somewhere in Time and thank you. And the Mae West movie that I did which I always loved very much and um, I'm up to do another film right now that uh, I'm really hoping I get because, it's, again, it's another period picture. And what was the l second part of your question? Uh, which costume did you like to design uh, oh, in, more in for Scott? Oh, Quantum Leap. Oh, Quantum Leap was a, a wonderful, wonderful challenge. It was like a, a designer's nightmare because <laughs> I never knew where we were. My God. <laughs> One day we were in 1958, the next day we were in 1973, and then a week later we were in 1982, and it was like this forever. I've never slept so many clothes in and out of a costume department for so many people. I loved Qu uh, Quantum Leap. I loved uh, doing Dean's Wild and Crazy, uh, which again was another uh, fabulous opportunity for me in the fact that I'd worked with uh, Belisario for many, many years. and. And I had a meeting at the very beginning, and he told me the concept of Dean's clothes, and that was the last time we ever spoke about them. I just went crazy after that and, and found the brightest colors and the weirdest cuts I possibly could. Um, I, I never really got behind dressing Scott in women's clothes. Uh, I liked Gloria, and I liked uh, the various other shows that we did when he was a, a woman or uh, Basically, when I hated the monkey show, Scott <laughs> did too. Uh, by that that diaper that he had to wear. Um, Scott was really wonderful to put in women's clothes. He never complained at all. Not once. I would bring him these gowns that were all corseted and so forth, and I'd say, "You're going to kill me when you have to put this on." And he didn't. He put them on. He was really very, very professional to work with. Uh, but I did a lot of uh, other women's gowns for the show, and I uh, like uh, Sea Bride. Sea Bride was one of my very favorite episodes because of the wedding dress and the tango dress and all the other things. So uh, I had a great time doing uh, Quantum Leap. I don't know what else I can tell you. Uh, we missed you the last season because uh, Dean 
kind of got a little conservative in his dress the yes, last I'm year. Yes, I know all that. I left the, epi the show six, uh, ten episodes before it was finished, finally, because I did a wonderful film called Heart and Souls that I don't know if any of you have seen. It came and went very quickly, but I loved it. It was a great experience. And if they do the movie Quantum Leap, would you be interested in coming back for that? Oh, sure, yeah, really. It's a, how could you turn it down? It was such a wonderful thing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Quick question. I found the Egyptian influence in a lot of the uniforms, the helmets, whatever, fascinating. I was wondering if that was your idea or something that Glenn Larson no, presented to you. No, this was Glenn. It's, um, as you know, or maybe you don't know, Battlestar Galactica was really kind of based upon the Bible about the, the lost colonies and so forth. And I'm sorry? Yes, really. I guess I, I didn't say that because I've never read the Book of Mormon, but uh, I always assumed from various conversations. This was never mentioned, but this was really kind of how we all felt about it when we talked about it. And um, he had said that... Uh, because of the lost colony and so forth, that it had ended up being the Earthlings, as, as everybody was to believe in the storyline of Battlestar Galactica. And um, so we then went with the fact that the Phoenicians and the Egyptians were the earliest uh, traces of civilization here on this planet. And so we sort of took that concept and moved it beyond in another direction where they would have brought that influence when they came to the planet Earth. So anyway, I guess that explains why you do see that influence. In it. But it was, it was purposely done. It was very heavily done in certain situations, specifically for that reason. I apologize for jumping in here, but we are to the point that we have to end this panel. I, we had a wonderful time. Thank you all very much for coming. John Pierre Dorlach.